Cosmetic set bonuses were a fun little gimmick added in the 2010 Man Economy update. These set bonuses would give you a certain stat increase, like adding 25 max health on wear, a headshot and vulnerability, and loads of other stat increases. These stats like, seem like unfair advantages to players who didn't have the whole set, so in July of 2013, they changed the way these bonuses worked. These item set bonuses now only add a calling card that you will leave on your victim when you kill them and nothing more. Today, we're looking at adding some new stats to some old cosmetic sets. We're doing one set for each class, starting with the Scout and ending with the Spy. First for the Scout, we have Santa's Little Accomplice, which was released as a part of the Australian Christmas Update in 2011. This set is comprised of the Rap Assassin, Big Elfin Deal, and Booty Time. For this cosmetic set, I would add that you leave a snowprint effect for every step you take, a 35% bobble damage increase, and you take no self damage from the bobble. I think the snowprint should be a nice touch because the scout is now an elf. Just something to spice up your effects while playing, really. The bobble damage does seem like a huge percentage at first, but when you realize the bobble only does 15 damage if it hits, it's a 35% increase, it only makes the bobble do an extra 5 damage. Also, the no self damage is barely noticeable because it only does 4 to 12 self damage if you hit yourself. Next is Soldier with the General's Formals, releasing as a part of the Uber update in June of 2011. This set uses the Man Treads, Disciplinary Action, Armored Authority, and the Fancy Dress Uniform. For this cosmetic set, I would add a 10% increase in movement speed and a 5% damage increase overall. I think that being a general now, he would be more in shape than other soldiers, so a 10% increase in movement speed would be a nice touch. It would not change the speed by much, only going from 240 hammer units a second to 264 hammer units a second, which is almost as fast as the pyro, engineer, and sniper, if they're running backwards. You're still the second slowest cast in the game, so it doesn't change that. Being a general would also mean he has more experience shooting guns, so a damage increase makes sense in that case. It would only be an extra 5 damage for the rocket launcher, so nothing game changing at all. Pyro is up next, and his is probably the biggest cosmetic set using Dr. Gord Bort's Moon Man back. It comes with the Phlogistonator, Man Melter, Third Degree, Bubble Pipe, and the Moon Man Backpack. This set would add a 10% increase in his jump height, 5% increase in melee damage, and new Pyro voice lines. The voice lines would sound something like <laughs> Yeah, that was my best pyro impersonation that you're going to get from me ever, so don't expect anything better than that. The increased jump height would be for two reasons. The first is because he's a moon man, and if you're on the moon, you have less gravity, so you can jump higher. The second reason is because he's wearing a rocket on his back. The melee damage is because it seems so futuristic, and his whole gimmick is being futuristic, so it's more powered up. I don't really know for this one, but that's what I want, so that's what we're going to do. The voice line should be pretty obvious, but because it's a spaceman, he's quoting Neil Armstrong's famous message. That message being, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Before we continue, if you're enjoying the video, leave a like and subscribe. It helps out the video and the channel a ton, it would mean a lot to me if you did. Now, back to the video. Moving on to the defense class, we have Demo Man with the 1001 Demo Knights item set released as a part of the Uber update. The name of this item set is reference to the storybook 1001 Knights, more commonly known as Arabian Nights in English. This item set contains the Alibaba's Wee Booties, Splendid Screen, Persian Persuader, and Sultan Ceremonial. This item set will add bonuses like a 10% increase in his melee swing speed and a 10% increase in movement speed. In my eyes, the speed increases are valid due to Demoman wheeling the sword in the boots. Really my whole argument. Demonite is a fast class, so why not reward him with a little extra speed if you have the whole cosmetic set? Is that mindset flawed? Probably, but it's my hypothetical video, so I'm gonna do what I want in the nicest way possible. Heavy is up next with the Black Market Business. Released as a part of the Uber update, this cosmetic set is made of the Tomislav, Family Business, Eviction Notice, and Capos Capper. This set bonus would be a 10% faster spin out time on the Tomislav. 10% more reserve ammo on the family business, and a 10% melee damage increase with the eviction notice. You're impersonating a mob boss when equipping this set, so my belief is that you would have more experience in dealing with enemies. You'd hold more ammo if needed, and you put in a few fights, so your damage would increase just a bit. Their gun is the best of the best, so a faster spin up speed would be added as well. Of all my arguments, this one is probably the weakest, but that's how I would do it. 
Finishing up the defensive classes, we have the Engineer with the Texas Tech Hand Cosmetic Set. Added during the 2014 Love and War update, this is the first item set in this list where it's purely all cosmetic and no weapons. This set uses the level 3 chin, Egghead's overalls, and the Lonesome Loafers. This cosmetic set would have that building increase their build time by 10%, and you get 10% more health from health packs. Based on how he looks, he seems like a smarter guy, so his buildings can be built just slightly faster. Also, he's bigger, so we can get more out of food than other classes can get, so 10% more for a health from health pack seems like a viable possibility. Nothing overpowered, but it would definitely help the engineer just a bit. Onto the support classes, we have the Medic and the Clinical Trial, which is released during the Uber update. This is the first set in the list where it's entirely weapons, being the Overdose, Quick Fix, and Solemn Vow. This weapon set would have a 10% firing speed increase, and you get one extra self-heal per second. After trial and error, the Medic found ways to power his Mighty Gun and weapons, so they're optimized just a bit better. The Solemn Vow would have no downsides at all now if he used this set, and the Overdose could kill just a bit faster. At least, that's the backstory I'm given the Medic. For on the Medic, we have the Sniper in the set that inspired this video, the Croco Style Kit. I recently released a video using this cosmetic set with a couple extra cosmetics that you can check out right here. The Croco Style was released during the Man Comedy update and is made up of the Sydney Sniper, Darwin's Danger Shield, Bushwaka, and Ol' Snaggletooth. Originally, this set provided headshot immunity. But the effect was changed in 2013 when all the item set bonuses were removed, so now it just leaves a calling card on your victims. In my ideal world, the set would provide a 25% fire damage resistance, 20% Jurati duration time, and you can now breathe underwater. Now, you may be thinking that breathing underwater would not work because it doesn't actually cover its face, but I would want this to work, so I'd find some way around it. The Jurati duration time may seem like a lot, but the Jurati effect now is only 2-5 to five seconds. So adding 20% to that would be a max of 6 seconds. The fire resistance increase would be because he's always wearing something that's covering more of his body, so he'd take less damage from it overall. Finally, we have the Spy with the Man of Honor item set. Releasing during the Uber update, this set uses the Enforcer, Big Earner, Casa Nostra Cap, and Made Man. This cosmetic set was hard to figure out what to add, but in the end, I decided to go with a 10% increase in cloak duration and plus 5 max health on wearer. I don't have a whole lot of rhyme or reason to add these stacks exactly, I just thought that these ones would fit the best. The set is based off of a wedding and being the man of honor there. You're not the center of attention like the groom, so in theory, you could be more sneaky. And I don't really know why I did the health bonus, but I couldn't think of anything else to add really, so I threw that in there. And that's it! If you guys have any suggestions for more cosmetic set bonuses or video ideas, leave a comment down below letting me know. Leave a like and subscribe if you liked the video, and I hope you all have a great day.